So hi guys, so welcome ulit sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon, sagutan natin itong problem. So yung problem natin, a speeder passes a police officer traveling at a constant speed of 44 meter per second. The officer accelerates her patrol car from rest to 5.5 meter per second squared. So the question, how long will it take for the officer to catch the speeder and how far from the officer's rest position? So first and foremost, kailangan muna natin isulat yung given sa speeder and police officer. So ito yung given natin. So first sa speeder. Okay? So first, yung acceleration niya is 0 meter per second squared. So bakit 0? Kasi from the problem, yung speeder daw ay nagta-travel at a constant speed of 44 meter per second. So pag constant, walang acceleration na na nagaganap. We need to say kung ano yung motion niya before it passes the police officer is the same until makatch up siya ng police officer which is 44 meter per second. So the same lang yung initial and final lang speeder. speeder. So as in constant lang siya. Okay, so next yung initial position niya is 0 meter. So bakit 0? Kasi uh, sinabi na yung police officer daw is coming from rest. Meaning, yung speeder natin is nag-overtake sa ating police, police officer na nakapark lang. So, yung figure magiging ganito. So, bale, ganito yung problem kasi. So, yung speeder natin is traveling at constant, constant speed of 44 meter per second. Okay? So, malalampasan niya yung police na nakapark lang. So, the moment na ma-reach ng speeder yung position ng police, yung initial position nila both is 0 meter per second. While yung velocity ng speeder remains the same at 44 meter per second. While yung police natin is at rest, meaning yung acceleration niya is equals to 0 meter per second squared. Okay? So, at a certain time, so, di ba, constant speed yung speeder natin. So, since nakapark yung car, natural lang na mauuna yung speeder sa police officer. So, aabante siya at a constant speed of 44 meter per second. So, hahanapin natin yung final position nila and yung time when the police officer catches the speeder. So, hahanapin natin yung final position nila both from this origin until yung police natin is makakatch up yung speeder at an acceleration of 5.5 meter per second squared. So, how far yung na-travel ng police bago niya ma-reach yung speeder na may constant speed of 44 meter per second? And how long bago niya yan maabutan? So, ganyan yung hinahanap natin. So, hope na klaro na. Then, we're going to proceed sa solution. So, sa solution natin, uh, since we're going to find the final position, so, meron tayo sa formula ng kinematic na Final position is equals to initial position plus 1 half AT squared plus VOT or yung initial velocity multiplied sa time. Okay, so let's consider to solve applying to, let's consider to apply this formula sa speeder. So at speeder only. Okay, so yung final position ng speeder is unknown. Yung initial niya is given which is 0. Plus, yung acceleration niya is 0, meaning this whole function will also be 0. And yung initial velocity niya, since it is constant, meaning 44 multiplied by time, which is unknown, t. Okay, so tatandaan natin itong equation. So, let's apply this also formula sa police. So, yung final position ng police is unknown. Yung initial niya is 0. 1 half, yung acceleration niya is 5.5 multiply sa time na unknown squared plus yung initial velocity niya 0 since yung police is start, started from rest okay, so makakancel ito at yung matitira is itong function, so simplify natin to magiging 2.75 t squared okay, so ito na yung um, equation now, final position for both speeder and police. So, let's take a look sa, let's sa ating figure. 
So as you notice, nakatch up ng police yung speeder with a constant speed of 45 meter per second. So yung acceleration ng police natin is 5.5 meter per second squared. Okay? So hanapin natin yung kanilang final position. So since nakatch up ng police yung speeder, yung kanilang position or yung kanilang final position is equal. So final position ng speeder is equal to final position ng police. So as you notice, nasa same spot sila. So therefore, let's apply na yung final position ng speeder is equal to final position ng police car. So meaning to say, 44T, which is ito, 0 naman kasi ito, kaya 44T na lang, is equal to 2.75T square. Okay? So let's divide both sides by 2.75T. So yung mangyayari, ito, makakancel, at ito, matitira T over 44 over 2.75 Okay? So T, using your calculator So we have 44 divided 2.75 plus to 16 16 seconds So, kung titignan natin sa answer, T and this one is the same. So therefore, it takes uh, it takes 16 seconds for the police officer to catch up the speeder with a constant speed of 44 meter per second. Okay? With when we have an acceleration of police officer which is 0.5 meter per second squared. So 16 seconds yung kinakailangan ng police officer in order to catch up this speeder. Okay? So next question naman. Ano nga yun? So how far from the officer's rest position? Okay? So dito, from here, gaano kalayo yung kanilang final position kung saan sila nag-meet? Dalawa. Okay? So meaning their distance will also be the same. Okay? So since na catch up ng police yung speeder, alam natin na yung time nila is the same which is 16 seconds. Okay? So therefore kung same yung kanilang time, therefore makukuha natin na yung kanilang distance will also be the same. Okay? So to solve for distance, since we have t here, so kailangan lang natin is substitute yung t dito either of the two. So, try natin kung equal nga talaga. So, meetin natin yung final position ng speeder. So, it is equals to 44T. So, isa substitute natin yung 16. So, final position ng speeder from the starting point is equals to 44 times 16 we have 704 4 meter okay kung titignan natin sa problem so this speeder has actually distance of 704 meter from its starting point okay so 0 ito yan yung origin nila with a constant speed of 44 meter per second so ganyan kalayo yung na-consume ng speeder bago siya maabutan ng police officer so, sa police officer naman, yung kanyang distance, so, substitute natin yung time dito sa kanyang uh, function, 2.75 squared, I mean, 2.75 times 16 squared. So, using calculator, 2.75 times 16 squared. We have also the same approach. So, we have... 704 meter. Okay? So, sa answer din natin, 704 meter. So, tama naman kasi they are on the same position kasi. Meaning, yung approach natin na XFS is equal to final position ng police. So, therefore, we, they have the same distance from their starting point. Okay? So, hope na klaro. So, ganun lang mag ng chase problem related sa dynamic
dynamics of ranging body. So, hope na nakatulong guys. Thank you for watching and God bless.